everyone, this is Always Apple FGD and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the iCloud lock on the iPad 2 without an Arduino board. Now, the Arduino board is helpful, but I always found the method was a little bit of a hassle with, you know, all the uploading and, you know, you have to find the board from some random seller on the internet. And, you know, just in general, most times more complicated equals more errors. And I always got an error when I tried to upload the exploit to the device. But this method is completely free and all you need is your Mac and some software and you'll be good to go. So let's get started. So first of all, there's a few things we need to download. The first tool we need to download is called Sliver. So to download that, go into your web browser and open up a new tab. And you'll need to type in this web address. So it's Apple and then Tech and then 752.com and just press enter. Now once you're on this website, click on the Downloads tab and then you'll see here at the top the latest release of Sliver for Mac OS. So just click on Download and it will download the tool. So you can see it's downloading here. Now the next thing we need to install is called Homebrew. So to install it, open up a new tab in your browser and go to this website. So it's brew.sh. And then click this button here and it will copy this command here. So now what we need to do is open up a new terminal window. Now the easiest way to do that is to go to your launch pad and click on other and here you'll see the terminal app. Now open the app. And if the app opens up with a bunch of text in the window, then I would just recommend opening up a new window. So to do that, you either press Command plus N on your keyboard, or just go to the shell menu at the top and click on New Window. And then now just press Command V on your keyboard to paste the command that we copied into the window. And finally, click Enter. And if it asks for your password, that's the password to your user account on your Mac. So just enter it. And note that this is completely safe and it's actually the Mac asking for your password, not the command. So just hit enter again. And then press enter one more time to confirm. Let this command run until it's completed. Now what this command will do is it will install Homebrew onto your computer, which is required for some parts of this bypass. Once the command is completed, you can close out of the terminal window. Now we need to install Sliver. So to do that, go to your Downloads folder. For me, I've specified a different location for my downloads, but for you, it should just be your Downloads folder here. Then double click on the Sliver installation DMG file. Now all we need to do is drag the Sliver application into our Applications folder. Now I already have Sliver installed on my computer, so as you can see it's asking me if I want to replace the app because it already exists. So I'll just click Cancel on that. Now next, if you're opening the app for the first time, you may see an error message. And I'm going to show you an example of that now. So here's what it will say. Sliver is damaged and should be moved to the trash. That's okay, and it's an easy fix. So go back to your terminal and make sure it's on a blank window like this. So now type XATTR, this is all lowercase, then put a space, and then dash CR, and another space. And then now open up your Applications folder in Finder. So Finder and Applications. And then drag and drop the Sliver application into the terminal window. Finally, press Enter. And we're done now. When you open the app, it should open right up. Now, if you get a message that says Python 2.7 acquired, just click on Install. You should get that message if you've ever ran Sliver on your computer before. I just can't show that because it's really hard to recreate that message. 
Once that's done and Sliver is open, click on the RAM Disk Fat Reactivation button and then select A5 on iOS 9.3.5 to 9.3.6. Now at the top you'll see this drop down that says Select Device. Click on it and select iPad 2. Now you can ignore all these other buttons and simply click on Start Fat Reactivation. Now you can see it says Dependencies and Wi-Fi Required. So click on install and it will save a script to your desktop. You can see it appeared here. And then click on OK. So then open up a new terminal window and type CHMOD, all lowercase, then hit the space bar and type 755, then press space again, and then drag and drop the script that Sliver saved to your desktop into the terminal window. Now press enter. And then just drag the script one more time in. Press enter one more time. Now you can see it's asking for your Mac login password again. It's exactly the same thing as earlier. It's the password you use to log into your Mac. So just enter it. Then press enter. Now press enter one more time to acknowledge and continue. Now this may take quite a while, so just be very patient and let it run until it completes. Okay, so now I'm back and you can see it says all done and everything should be working now. So now you can close out of the terminal window and go back to Sliver. Now click on the Start Factory Activation button one more time. Make sure your iPad 2 is on the activation lock screen. This time, click the Activate button. And boom! Look at that! We skipped right over the activation lock screen. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set up this device. And there we go! We are right inside of the iPad, just like that. Now one note about this bypass is it's a tethered bypass, meaning that if you reboot the iPad or let the battery die or it turns off for any other reason, the iPad will actually relock. But all you have to do is re-bypass the device when it boots up again and you're good to go. So now I'm just going to walk you through that process. So I'm going to turn off my iPad. So you can see I'm back with my iPad 2, it's booted up, and you can see it's back on the activation lock screen. So now we're going to simply bypass it one more time, start factory activation, and activate. You get this thing that says trust this computer, Let's hit trust. And boom. Look at that. There we are, in the device again. Perfectly working. You can use the apps. Let's check the iOS version. Just for fun, you can see it's on iOS 9.3.5. And we're done. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. You can comment down below your thoughts. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more content. That's it for now, and I'll catch you in my next video.